The Numidian cavalry were at the time arguably the best cavalry force in the ancient world. The ancient Mediterranean world witnessed the rise of many formidable military forces, and among them, the Numidian cavalry carved a distinct niche. The Numidians, likely ancestors of the modern Berbers, were a large kingdom hailing from North Africa. Their reputation as skilled cavalrymen first surfaced during the Sicilian Wars, 3rd century BC, where they served as mercenaries for the Carthaginians against the Greeks in Sicily. However, their true prominence arrived during the Second Punic War. Fighting alongside Hannibal's formidable army, the Numidian cavalry played a crucial role in his early victories. Battles like Lake Trasimene, 217 BC, and Cannae, 216 BC, showcase their disruptive power. Their speed and agility allowed them to harass enemy formations, exploit flanks, and create strategic advantages for the Carthaginians. The effectiveness of these light cavalrymen did not go unnoticed. Recognizing their potential, Roman general Scipio Africanus recruited Numidian horsemen, led by Massinissa, to counter Hannibal's forces at the decisive Battle of Zama. The impact of Massinissa's cavalry proved pivotal in securing Roman victory. Following Zama, the Romans incorporated Numidian cavalry as light auxiliary units within their legions. This practice continued throughout the Republican and Imperial eras. Renowned figures like Julius Caesar and Trajan employed Numidian horsemen in their military campaigns, further solidifying their reputation as a valuable military asset. Unlike the heavily armoured cavalry of the time, the Numidians relied on speed, manoeuvrability and surprise tactics. Their armour was minimal, consisting primarily of a round shield crafted from elephant or ostrich skin, known for its sturdiness. For offence, they carried bundles of javelins, emphasising their strength in ranged attacks rather than close quarter combat. Depictions on ancient steles and rock carvings from Algeria showcase Numidian warriors equipped with these shields and javelins. Artistic portrayals also reveal distinctive physical traits like moustaches and pointed beards. Their attire was simple, typically consisting of a tunic without belts or elaborate accessories. The true distinction of the Numidian cavalry lay in their unique riding style. Unlike their contemporaries, they dispensed with saddles, blankets and bridles, relying solely on a rope around the horse's neck for control. Ancient writers like Strabo and Livy described their horses as agile, docile and remarkably responsive to their riders' commands, even in the absence of bridles. The Numidian horses themselves were small and hardy, the ancestors of modern Berber horses. Despite their size, these horses were highly valued for their endurance and ability to withstand the demands of ancient battlefield conditions. While their extended neck gallop might have appeared awkward to some observers due to the lack of bridles, ancient authors also documented impressive feats of horsemanship, such as warriors jumping between two horses during battle. In conclusion, the Numidian cavalry, with their distinctive tactics, weaponry and riding style, played a significant role in shaping the military landscape of the ancient Mediterranean world.